Mario Wonder is out and about, and I am loving it. However, I feel like it's missing something. And it's thanks to this little thing called the Elephant Fruit. When this was first announced, all we saw was Elephant Mario. What would Luigi turn into? What would Peach turn into? What would Daisy turn into? But turns out, they're all elephants too, for better or for worse. Now, as much as I love the bubble and the drill and the elephant, me and my good chum Jack decided to sit down and make an animal power up for every character. Oh, we're not game designers, I don't think. I don't think. Jack, have you made a game? Um, no. <laughs> All right, let's start off Luigi. I think an ostrich would be pretty fitting for Luigi because he's got a tall neck. He's got a, he's got a lot of neck. The concept I have for this is that he has an ability to be like ridden like a Yoshi, gets an extra jump and stick his head in the ground to like pull up hidden items. What do ostriches look like? I feel like it's better <laughs> if you didn't know what an ostrich looks like. Or maybe he's a Raya like Kevin. Do you know who Kevin is? Uh... Have you ever seen this image before? Oh, that Kevin. Wait, I do know that Kevin. Does he like poop out eggs? I mean, he could. Then he's just Yoshi though. I feel like it's more so like a scuttle. What are the boots in Link to the Past called? Pegasus boots? Or... Yeah, 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 where like you hold down and you can charge. Like he can sort of do that maybe. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, oh wait, we have to design the fruit. What will the fruit be? So the elephant fruit's like an apple. A pineapple with like the feathers looking sort of like the top of a pineapple. Yeah, that looks edible. <laughs> I'd eat that. <laughs> Now something in common you and me have, we both use web browsers every day. So why are you stuck using the lame ones? Oh, are you scared of change? Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what's scarier than change. Not using Opera as your chosen web browser. Opera takes literal seconds to set up. If you click the link right now, you have a setup done before I finish talking about it. Say goodbye to cloggy intrusive plugins. Opera has the most useful features right at the get-go. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but wouldn't that make the browser all clogged up with stuff? It's what I thought before realizing this is probably the most well-organized browser I've ever used. Opera's workspaces feature is phenomenal for organization, and tab islands are like folders for your tabs, but genuinely useful and a well-thought-out feature. And with being able to pin apps to the sidebar, I can check Twitter or Instagram without ending up with about 20 tabs of goofy memes! And you can also use productive AI services like Aria. It can do all the things you expect from an AI chatbot, but since it's built into Opera, it's seamlessly intertwined with browsing, removing any monotony or struggle from not finding that one thing you want from a traditional search engine. But even without these features, Opera stands out by having the first ever cashback service built into a web browser. Whether I'm using UK stores or US stores, Opera Cashback provides the best cashback rates on the market for popular online shops, helping you save money the easiest way possible. Not doing anything! Come on lads, it'd be silly not to try Opera. If you haven't already, download Opera today and give it a try via my link below. Thanks again Opera for sponsoring this video. Yoshi, I have giraffe written there. What's like the name of like that really big lizard? Like the Gila monster? Crocodile? Like, oh, maybe a crocodile. What's like the primordial salamander? We could do Yoshi like this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe two people can ride him at the same time because he's like long. Ooh. So he has like two shells. Yeah. A little bus. Maybe he could have like a little, like a rush ability. Oh, he can zoom? Kind of like Celeste, but like murderous. Oh, do you know what his ability could be? He can like pass through tunnels like all like snakily, you know? <laughs> He's like a worm. Wormoshi. I think that's a really fun idea. That is fun. And yeah, everyone can ride on the Yoshi. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh, an avocado because it's called a crocodile scrotum in Pikmin 3. <laughs> oh my God. I think you like just unlocked a memory. I think I remember. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's a little did you know that? gaming. <laughs> that's so silly. I want this to be real now. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Sorry if we made you sad by doing this. <laughs> Wait, what are their real names? Huckleberry and um... Finn? I didn't know they had real names. I thought it was just Blue Toad and Yellow Toad. Alla Gold and Buckenberry. Those are their names. Huh? I think because of that, maybe for the toads, they can be a berry. Yeah, that could work. Like if you have a bunch of berries. But what do they turn into? That's what we've got to figure out. I feel like a sheep or like a ram. I was going, going to go more of a line of like an insect or like a tiny animal, like a shrew or a mouse. Ooh, or like a armadillo. Ooh, how do we do that for a toad? They have a long snoot. Well, the shell could be like toad patterned. Hello! What would this guy be able to do? Just roll into a ball? You could like roll really fast down hills. This would just like give Sonic's moveset to Toad. Yeah. So like, everything you can do as Sonic, you can just do as Toad as an armadillo. <laughs> Wait, actually, now I kind of want to draw Toad in the Sonic art style. That's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I like this. This is this is what we need. This makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you.
What would Toadette be then? An octopus? Ooh, like kind of I could see that because she's got the braids. Oh, you know what we could do? We could sort of give her like the little like sideways eyes. Splatoon. Oh, what we should try and do is try and think of like catchphrases they'll say instead of wowie zowie. Wowie zowie. Scuttle me impressed. Holy shit. Oh, she can shoot ink and blind enemies. Oh, what if she could shoot the ink and then uh, swim through the ink and then- Oh, and then uh, <laughs> turn it into a human and then uh, shoot. up walls. She would just control like a blooper when you're in the ocean. Yeah, she could have like cool like water mobility. Yeah. Water mobility, shooting ink. Ugh, her little feet. That's cute. We need a fruit for, for Toda. Oh, a fruit. Raspberries. <laughs> Okay, what can we do for Daisy? What about this? Guinea pig. Or quokka. Wait. You know quokkas? I don't know if they do anything, <laughs> but they're cute. Apparently they throw their babies at predators. This is definitely Daisy <laughs> energy. Let's see Daisy as a, qu a quokka. <laughs> oh, they have a little pouch for their babies. You could store like an extra item. Oh yeah, that could be fun. Like if a shell's coming towards her, it goes into her pouch and then she can throw it back. Or she could hop around. Yeah. Bounce. I mean, I guess that's all you do in Mario. <laughs> it could be like a pouch right here. like a. That works. Oh, like made like, like a little <laughs> apron. Oh wait, what fruit? Oh, a kiwi easily a kiwi and they're like brown and fuzzy yeah they're brown and fuzzy like with a flower on it like in the middle gonna do it. this looks like a little hamination sand <laughs> Wait, let's not do koala for the peach though, because I feel like I feel like koalas don't do anything. We don't really have a flying thing. Should we do it as a flamingo? I feel like flamingo makes the most sense. It kind of fits with her powers in other games, how she could like hover. Oh yeah, yeah. We gotta do flamingo peach. Flamingo. Peach. Flamingo peach. What do flamingos do? Fly? Yeah, they can fly. They definitely fly. <laughs> Maybe it's like a like a pogo stick. She could bounce around like. Oh, uh, okay, that's really fun. Like Cranky Kong or Scrooge McDuck. I was gonna say like the pogo stick guy in happy wheels but those are two much better examples oh my god yeah you, you could like charge it up yeah. <laughs> and go flying see this would be way less terrifying than elephant peach honestly yeah i don't think people would be as weird about this yeah <laughs> oh i have a cranky kong idea of yeah of her like being able to go like pew, oh and that would like, actually like slamming down pair really well with, if she could like hover for a little bit oh you're right you could like speed run with her we got to do a peach for peach that makes too much sense <laughs> I feel like bat for nabbit would be good. Oh yeah, bat for nabbit. Babbit. Nabbat. So I feel like the bat for nabbit could be like double easy mode where you sort of just fly around like a spectator. I don't know, helping dark levels. That could be kind of fun. I feel like a bat nectarine could be cool. Yeah, that's what they like. Do they like nectarines? I think so. I feel like I've seen a video of like a bat going to town on a nectarine. I love nectarines. <laughs> Just for fun, what would be a good Bowser one to do? If he had like a an evil eye at the oh, end. Oh, Bowser Wooly Mammoth. You know, he's like the evil elephant. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> wait, that's really yeah. good. Yeah, something like this that. This is really fitting because it is like versus Mario, the extinct cooler version of an elephant. just freaking like gazpacho from, from Chowder. Bowser Jr. turns into Sid. <laughs> this looks like E.T. Oh my God, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're onto something here. And then Kamek is Diego. Oh wait, that, that works. I think we have all the ideas down here. <laughs> All right, Jack, how do you feel about what we've come up with here? I feel like we made a better game than Nintendo. Yeah. I, I still am like pretty peeved off because I I saw on Twitter, someone said like, yeah, it's been confirmed that they're all going to have different animal powers. That's so lame. And I thought it was real. I got fooled. But is there anything you want to say? Where can people find you at? Uh, Stuff like that. You can find me at Jackademia. Oh, really? Who would have guessed?